Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use multi port in Simulink. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon and turn on notification button for notification about upcoming videos. Let's start with how to use multi port in Simulink. So first you come to that MATLAB, just to open MATLAB window and then click this symbolin and then just go to open blank, blank model. Okay. So here just you go to go to library browser here and then go to signal routing. So here you can see that multiport, right? So just you to place the multiport in the blank model. I'm just I'm going to use uh, that mean here you can see the different uh, input port right this port known as control port uh, this is this port known as uh, input port okay so here we need to connect our inputs okay so that input will be passes to the output so based upon the control input here that mean the control input is like the number because here we are we are having three input port one two three right so the control port should receive the value in between one two three okay so it may be one two or three so the value is in the control port is one means the the input port one will be selected the the input that whatever input is available in the input port one so that will be passes through the output so when the control port having input 2 that means it receiving the data 2 so then it will allow the second that means second input port data to the output so when the 3 is available in the control port then third input data will be allowed in the output okay so here you can see that number of data ports so default they have 3 so you can change to uh, how many port you want right input port you want you can select accordingly okay but here for explanation of this multi port i'm going to use default value and then i need to use um, three inputs right uh, sinusoidal input triangular input and square wave input so this input going to be passes through the output so based upon control logic uh, we implemented here right so i'm going to take sine wave first And then I'm going to use triangular. So and then I'm going to use signal generator. So I'm going to make the frequency of uh, sinusoidal is one hertz. And also I'm going to make the frequency of triangular is on nets and I'm going to choose the square wave form here square wave and I'm going to take the frequency that means I'm going to use frequency on nets so all uh, signal that means sine wave triangular and the square wave is going to be operated in the one kilohertz with the amplitude of one okay so now I'm going to use source that mean our uh, uh, repeating sequence there right so i'm going to use this one for given for a control input so here i'm going to generate the value so for example i'm going to generate value that mean one two three and then three two and one and i'm going to make the sample time equal to okay every two second the amplitude will be changed okay for example from 0 to 2 second the amplitude will be equal to 1 after 2 second the amplitude going to be changed to 2 after 2 second that means uh, 2 from 0 to 2 1 and 2 to 4 2 and 2 to 6 is 3 okay so it going to be changed so here I am going to take the maximum number of time that means simulation time 
equal to 13 and uh, I'm going to change that uh, move backward right so here I'm going to use two lux steps okay next I'm going to use scope to see the results so here I'm going to take number of input is two that means control input so to see the control input and to see the output and I'm going to take two layout and I'm going to change the style of the scope so here I'm going to change the style So now I'm going to connect the first input scope input to the select a switch or control input and second I'm going to connect with the output. Now I'm going to simulate the model. So initially you, you can see that right uh, you will not get proper output. So already that means just go to model configuration property and go to additional parameter and just be go to change to 1 e power minus 5. Now I am going to simulate this model. So here you can see the selector switch that means output that means sorry that means input for the control port is equal to 1. So 1 means is selecting the sinusoidal right. So next now you can see that the control input equal to 2 right. So then we are getting output triangular right. Now control input is 3, so we are getting square wave, right? So based, based upon the control input in the control port, right? So the multi port will going to allow the signal in the this input 1, 2, 3, right? So we can see the variation in the output, okay? So based upon control input signal, it allow the sinusoidal triangular and the square wave right when the control signal is equal to 1 it allow the sinusoidal when control input equal to 2 it allow the triangular when control input equal to 3 it going to allow square wave right so it can be seen here right so first we have sinusoidal output second we have triangular output and third we have square wave output so this uh, that multi port will be select the signals based upon the control input value okay so this is the working of multi port in the matlab zoom link so thanks for watching our videos so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and turn on notification button for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much